Welcome to Sweat TV. My name is Jeffrey G. Today it's more athletes under the camera and this time in a little bit of a different realm. If you're a professional swimmer, you spend a lot of time in a pool, right? If you're a cyclist, a lot of time on the road. If you're a professional fighter, you spend a lot of time punching face. Meet Chris Hartman. It's Chris Hartman, Muay Thai fighter at Syndicate MMA, and you're watching Sweat TV. Chris, thank you for joining us. Yes, sir. So, setting up this interview was uh, a couple weeks out of a fight for you, just yeah. to give them a little bit of a precursor. Is you might see right there, he's got a little bit of a shiner. A broken nose happened recently. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us yeah. about it. I was doing my last sparring session, man, and I caught a spinning forearm right to the beak. The whole forearm. Yeah, that was fun. Faucet, man. You yeah. start dumping. Uh, I tried to tough it out. And I'd imagine that's not an easy decision to make. You're a few weeks out, you've been training, you've been cutting away. What makes you decide that? What did you? What was the finishing factor? The future, man. The future is what makes me decide it. I'm, I'm not old, but I'm not young for yeah. this sport either. Oh, so I need to go out on my shield, get cracked in the nose, maybe finish the fight, cool, or I can just pull out, be smart. Let's talk about how it all got started for you, because you're not from Vegas. You moved no. here to fight. Yes. Tell me about it. I'm from Kirkland, Washington, a suburb of Seattle. You know, I grew up watching the UFCs, UFC 1, Hoist Gracie, and when I thought, oh, dude, I can make money to fight, You're yeah, that was, that was it. I was, since I was like 10, I was stuck, man. I wanted to do it. Martial arts forever, Taekwondo, all that. I went to like competition Taekwondo, made some rough decisions when I was a teenager, dropped out, got fat. I mean, get rid of this weight. I need to go back to what I want to do, which is kickbox. I started Muay Thai eight years ago and had my first fight six or so years ago, and then I decided to move to Vegas. So now you're here, I was going to say, let's let's talk about what a typical training day is. It involves a lot of different things. What is a typical training day for you? So I have a nine to five job. So I wake up every morning and I have my meals that were prepped the night before. My lady cooks those for me. She's the best. It's, it's great having a support system. Give her a shout uh, out real quick. Mariana, you're the best. Thanks for cooking for me, baby. Uh, I go to work, um, and during work, I gotta eat, man. I gotta munch all day. Naps, I get an hour lunch, so I nap on my lunch. Rest is vital. After work, I munch, I nap, even 10 minutes if I have to, and then I go train hour and a half or so, and I come in here, I put in my work. But I train seven days a week. I train, I'm in here, Muay Thai, busting my ass. Depends on where I'm at in my camp, I'm lifting. What are some fight-specific exercises? Because I know weight training is involved as well. What are two or three of your favorite weight-specific exercises that translate to Muay Thai? Squats and deads, man. That's it, Squats, Those are the big squats ones. and deads, man, it doesn't matter. There's specifics, you know, people get into it. Just get, just get strong. Let, let's talk about when you're when you're getting geared up for a fight. You're 10 minutes out, crowds out there. You hear the music, you feel the energy. What's going through your head? What what sort of a headspace are you in? Man, I think a lot. I think so. I'm nervous as fuck before my fights. I'm so nervous before my fights. I think about everything, man, and then I just focus in. As soon as my walkout music hits, you know, I'm ready. It's time to bring it. In most sports, somebody has their go-to, their, their comfort move. Is there, a, is there a certain combo, a certain setup that you like to throw that, that gives you your range, that makes you settle in a bit? Honestly, too, I land the right hand like every like, Right hand, left hook is usually my good one. I like, to fight, I like to fight out far, I like to stay out, and then my, my right hand is my distance venture. I'll, I'll maybe stick a few jabs to kind of feel out, but I know my range. I know where my right hand's going to be every time. Anyone who's who's good at anything in any realm also knows their weaknesses. What's a weakness? Something that you focus on yourself to get better at? Just staying in it. I, you know, I'm, I got long arms. I can stay away all day. I got a good chin. I rely on that a little bit. Work on my defense, pairing maybe a little bit more. I've, I've definitely relied on my chin in fights for sure. So since you've got the injury, you have to step back for this fight. Where do you put yourself fighting next? December, the USMTO tournament down in Arizona. I'll, that's the one I, I want to do. I want to fight before the end of the year. Because uh, I'm trying to go pro next year, man. I'm trying to go pro, bang out some pro fights. I'm, I'm, I'm getting in glory. Well, we put Chris through a workout today. I appreciate you spending some time with us. You can check him out on Instagram at Chris underscore Tintin underscore Hartman. What is the Tintin? Watch the adventures of Tintin. You guys will understand what I mean. <laughs> it's Sweat TV. Thanks for watching.